Good afternoon. Today I'm going to be working on a Salt Dog SHPE 2000 series spreader, as you can see in the book. Um, I've already begun this process, and what I'm going to do here is, as you see, I have taken out the auger unit off of the bottom of the insert spreader out of my truck. Um, this unit's probably at least eight or nine years old, so as you know, working on salt and snow related equipment it all gets pretty rusty um, and uh, the problem with this is that the auger unit itself uh, the electric motor uh, right here is not working or stopped working or has got tired or corroded something like that uh, we need to replace the electric motor however the problem is that salt dog uh, wants to charge you for the whole assembly you cannot buy just that electric motor, so they want to charge you for this whole assembly uh, with the gearbox and everything um, that comes on the unit. Um, like I said, your um, chute and everything attaches over here, uh, and this is the auger mechanism that drives the salt uh, down to the spinner. Uh, so this part, uh, I have found it anywhere from about $250 on the low side to about $500 directly from a dealer, uh, something like that. Otherwise, what I'm trying to do is uh, either repair or replace just this electric motor. I'm hoping to do that for, I don't know, um, either close to nothing or very cheap if possible. Uh, so what I've done so far is I've taken this out um, of the unit so I can work it on my bench more easily. Um, and the first thing I did is take off these um, Allen bolts right here. Uh, which are five millimeter. Uh, yeah, they're five millimeter. I've taken out these Allen bolts right here. Uh, there's six of them all the way around this thing. And you want to be careful with any salt related stuff because it does get corroded, tarnished pretty easily. I had no idea what I was getting into on this. So for speed's sake, I've disassembled this stuff uh, so I didn't have to make my video really long. Uh, so anyway, I've got all these bolts out. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is take this cover off. Now when you take the cover off, you want to be careful because there are gears that fit into this housing and they're loose. Um, there's also a gasket in here and this was pretty stubborn. I had to um, work on the gasket a bit. So when I pull this off, you want to be pretty careful as you take these things apart because you'll see right away that there is grease. There are some gears. You can see the gasket it got a little torn, but probably repairable with some sealant. Um, some grease in here. And you can see the electric motor has a splined or a, a geared shaft on it, which is going to be the problem because that's not going to be a common motor to find um, to get it. So we're going to have to maybe try to fix it or um, do a little research to see if that motor is even available. Normally the shafts on the end of the motors like this um, don't, and it spins so the motor is not locked up so I'm hoping it's repairable. Uh, but normally they don't have a spline shaft like that. Uh, as I look down a little farther you'll see that there's another bearing down here. That bearing would fit here in this casing uh, right down this way. And then you have some other gears here, um, a reduction unit uh, the obviously reduct um, changes the gear ratio and this right here is the auger shaft the auger shaft comes all the way through here comes out the back runs down the auger mechanism and it runs to this bearing in the back that needs to be greased and you can see it's pretty old so it's not looking so great um, but this is the auger shaft right here that runs all the way through uh, so as we come through here, you can see the wiring. I've already disconnected and cut the wiring. Those will need to be repaired if we get this all working again. Uh, what I've done to start with to, to begin this process, uh, I've already done that. Next thing I did was I took off these um, small nuts to hold the motor, the electric motor, into the case. They're on here. One, two of them. And that's typical of an electric motor. Um you will find something similar to that and those usually run all the way through the motor right here all the way through to the front they not only hold the motor on but they keep the motor together uh, they keep the windings and everything from the inside of the motor from coming apart so we're going to take those out eventually once we get the motor out now the big problem with this is that they don't give you enough space from the factory 
to get this spline through that hole and there's not very much tolerance right in here, about a half an inch. The problem is the front of the motor, this is an inch. So even though I've got this motor loose, and that was fairly easy, um, you can see I've got the motor loose. And if we pull the motor out, and as we pull the motor off, now that you can see, uh, there's just not enough space to get that shaft out of this hole because the motor will come up against the frame and get you stopped right there. So, um, so yeah, so Salt Dog 1, this motor is probably specialty, so they try not to sell this independently. Um, they sell the whole unit, but it's very expensive, a lot more expensive than just a motor. Uh, so what I've done is loosen that up. Take this, I found this is not there. So that brings me to step uh, number three. Um, I need to try to disconnect that whole auger unit that they would sell uh, from the factory. So to do that, there's three bolts right there. Uh, I'm going to remove those three bolts. And the problem begins now. When you have an old unit, um, you may or may not be able to see that uh, there is a shear pin or a cotter pin whatever you want to call it that holds the um, auger unit to the gear drive assembly uh, well that is so rusted you can hardly tell it's even a pin anymore um, and on the other side I've already tried to play with this some you'll see that I've ground off um, the side that came through in an attempt to pound that through the other side and what I did is I flipped this whole unit upside down because you can see uh, my table on the bottom that you can access this pretty easily from the bottom. Um, and you can even do this on the truck really without taking this whole auger mechanism off. But, you know, it's cold outside and I thought it would be easier just to bring it all inside and work it on a bench where I could get to it. So, um, since this is not coming out, I have used all the normal techniques. I used PB Blaster to loosen it. I used a torch to heat it. I pounded on it with a drift pin with a drift uh, to try to get everything out of there but this pin is not budging so it gives me a problem I can either flip this unit over and start drilling it out which if I do that it may still seize this whole auger mechanism right here the whole assembly where it goes through that shaft might be rusted and seized into the um, auger itself uh, right where they join and it slides in there. I'm guessing that's going to be a tough thing to get out of there. Um, so it could cause me another problem. So at this point, I'm going to go to plan B. I'm going to come down to this end. And hopefully, I'll be able to loosen these set screws um, on the end of the other end of the bearing auger. Uh, and I'm hoping that I can just push this whole auger assembly shaft through there about, uh, I just need about a half an inch to an inch. Um, to get it all the way out through here. Uh, if I can get this whole mechanism to move away from here, uh, if I can get it all to move away from here about an inch, then I'll be able to get this shaft all the way through the hole about another half an inch or so, pull that motor out and start working on it. Now, so anyway, this is the uh, 2000 model um, salt dog spreader. It's the auger inside the gearbox assembly. Um, and this is step one of the process. I'm going to get going on this bearing. And once I get this thing apart, uh, we'll start again. I'll let you know how the progress goes. And we'll see about repairing the motor and putting this thing back together. I uh, hope this video has helped. Uh, I know before I took this apart, I was kind of wondering what the inside of this gearbox looked like. On uh, internet threads, the different ones I found, there's been a lot of people wondering if you can buy just this motor. Um, I don't know if that's available just yet. I haven't been able to find it, uh, but the whole assembly is expensive and, and probably not necessary. Uh, thanks for watching. Be back soon.